Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explore the new horizontal chip list component. Uh, it could be quite useful when you want to create some uh, page with a category selection. So I will show how to do this with this new component. So everybody knows how to build this classic style list with filters. Uh, so you have a drop down as a category selector and by selecting the appropriate category you get the list uh, with the results for example list of fish photos with birds photos or mammals photos i will show you how to uh, make this list uh, the same functionality with a horizontal list component so that you have not only just a uh, possibility to select the category but you can also select all items and uh, use this nice and uh, beautiful horizontal chip list component to uh, browse through categories. I have already created the database uh, which we are going to display uh, in the, this new screen and this is the old screen which I have already set up. So regarding the database I have two uh, collections here. One is the photo collection which has the name, photo and the photo category. So there are several records already there. And uh, as you understand, uh, I have the uh, category link already enabled. Uh, so this is another collection called photo category. Again, this is a category name. I have just four category, uh, mammals, birds, fish, and insects. And I have a category picture and the photos which are linked to this category. So one category can have several photos, but a photo can belong only to one category. So this is uh, enough for this type of the old um, list with categories and with a drop down. And uh, just for the reference, you have the drop down, which is called category selector. And this is um, uh, for all photo filter by all photo categories. And uh, here, uh, this is a card list. It could be in any other list, of course. Uh, which has a custom filter when the photo category name is equal to selected photo category. So as a first part, uh, let's set up the new horizontal chip list and the card list and uh, replicate the same behavior with the horizontal chip list. So let's the, add the horizontal list. It's located in the lists uh, section. So this is a horizontal chip list. We put it here. Uh, setting it up is pretty simple. So we select that it's a list of photo categories. And uh, uh, the filter is all photo categories. So then uh, let's, the text is correct. We want to display the category name. The image is taken from the current photo category, category picture. So we already have that. Uh, let's make some rounding for image and uh, also let's adjust the style of the chip uh, to make it a bit bigger uh, and uh, also less rounded so that photos and uh, chips look the same okay and let's set up uh, the mm, items list so uh, probably i will just copy this card list to the new screen so I'm copying it here. Uh, it will be a list of photos, filter of all photos. Uh, at the moment, I will delete this custom filter. Uh, no sorting, uh, columns, title is the photo name, subtitle is the photo category name, and media, the photo itself, is just the image. So now what we need to implement here is to make it work that when I uh, click the horizontal chip list, the ch chip, then the filter by category uh, is applied to this cards list. However, there is no simple way to do that because, okay, we can select uh, all photos, custom filter, photo category name is equal to, and we don't have a direct uh, relation to the uh, horizontal chip list. So uh, the simplest way to implement this is uh, through the temporary uh, variable or property in the user's collection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the property called, uh, it will be a text property 
called TMT selected category. And I will add an action so that by clicking on the uh, chip, there is a click action here. I will update the logged in user and I will set this TMP selected category to current photo category name. So, and then I will modify this custom filter that current photo category name is equal to logged in user TMP selected category. So each time a user will click on the uh, one of the items of the chip list, uh, this uh, variable will be updated and the filter will work. So let's test how it works. It is the first very simple example how to implement um, the horizontal list. So we go here, here's the horizontal list. We have the uh, four items here. When I click insects, I see insects. When I click fish, birds and mammals. So everything works correctly. Stay tuned for the next part where I will show how to display all items in the list. Thank you.